Anthroposophy was brought by Rudolf Steiner, who passed away in 1925, but left an incredible legacy of about 6,000 lectures and books on ways in which human beings with our modern consciousness can reconnect to the spiritual world. But it also has a very practical aspects. He gave talks on medicine, on agriculture. Uh, he created the Waldorf school system. There are several Waldorf schools in this huge metropolis area. There's a school right here in Pasadena, the Pasadena Waldorf School. I call anthroposophy a jigsaw puzzle with no straight edge pieces. We come from all walks of life. It just keeps getting bigger and better and changes life without our even being able to weigh and measure how it does that. Because the spiritual world is working in all of us and it wants us to be their hands and feet and do this work in the world. So while anthroposophy is not a religion, Steiner says it is a life path that will lead you to religious thoughts. We have the only building on the whole West Coast dedicated solely to anthroposophy. And this is really uh, one of the lights of Pasadena. We were looking for a building and we wanted a space that we could create also and really have the living forms that belong to anthroposophy. And this building, it goes from Green Street to Martin Alley. And our front door is on the alley, Martin Alley. This is what you can do in Pasadena. You can have your front door on an alley. And it has a library portion, a large room that has a sort of platform uh, for activities, artistic activities and it was designed with a library on one side. It's been turned into what we call the sun garden room and uh, a, a very nice meeting space, which is all around us. Anthroposophical architecture has in mind as a kind of grounding principle that there's very little in nature that's truly square. Living forms have curves, and so the architecture, some of it in this building, even if you have to work within a kind of rectangular form for a door, has interesting angles above the sides of the door, for example, that soften the lines of the door that you have to hang to go through. We do a lot of study of Rudolf Steiner's works, his lectures, and so on. We also do a lot of artistic programs, music, painting, eurythmy, which is a new art form that Rudolf Steiner brought. It just means beautiful rhythm and it's language and music with movement of the human body. Today we hosted a lecture by Reverend Bastian Bahn. He was born in the Netherlands and he studied in the seminary of the Christian community and became a priest and he's made several world tours and written six books. So he's giving four talks on the future of the earth, recognizing what the problems are, and then working in these four talks about what can we do. Anthroposophy, the word is, anthrop is uh, human, and sophia is wisdom. So it's so a wisdom about human, and so it's a human development. As humans, from a childhood we grow, we learn, so all that is involved. I studied anthroposophy, studied eurythmy, and it's my life, you know, that's what I do. Rudolf Steiner, what he did, I think, is admirable. And this eurythmy was really unique because it has so many aspects. It can be done on stage professionally as a performing art, then you can teach at school as a pedagogical aspect, and then has a healing aspect. Everybody benefits from eurythmies. Performing arts are alive. You cannot reproduce technicality. You can reproduce moments there, there, but always one aspect will be different and sometimes that's what you take out of there. It's always something new every time you're on stage. Mm -hmm.